Monday morning, everybody. Another week is here. You excited? I was kind of hoping for a long weekend, but can't have one every weekend. Otherwise, it's not special, right? We have a long weekend coming up soon. I don't think it's next weekend. Yeah, it's the weekend after. So there is one on the way. There is hope. Light at the end of the tunnel. So sit back, relax, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. You can ride along with me almost every day. We did miss a few days this weekend. I didn't have all of my equipment with me, so I was unable to make any vlogs, which disappointed me because I got my motorcycle out of storage and I wanted to make a, a little moto vlog. I wanted to bring back Moto Josh for a day, but it didn't happen. I was a little disappointed, but meh next weekend. It was a little cold to go riding this weekend anyways. I just sort of putted around Steinbeck. But today we once again find ourselves on our way up to Arbor. That seems to be one of my regular routes. Sort of the same route a lot, but each time is different. Not sure what I'm picking up today. But I know I gotta leave and go there first thing. So here we go. Don't forget guys if you want to help out my channel the best way you can do that and it's totally free you can just hit that thumbs up button for me if you want to help the channel that is the best way you can do it and the cheapest I mean it's absolutely free it, it does cost some energy because you got to move your finger and hit the thumbs up button and that's that, that it's all I ask I know if you don't want to that's fine but uh, it does help me out a lot <laughs> I appreciate it when when you all do it I notice that when I remind you guys the the numbers do go up and I am noticing that, and I do really appreciate that. That that tells YouTube that more people give it a thumbs up and it advertises my channel for us then. And it recommends it to more people. That windshield's a little dirty, eh? You never know how dirty your windshield is until you drive straight into the sun. All right, well, that should fix it. Oh, it's on the inside. Oh, no. I didn't have time to wipe it down. Usually I wipe it down in the mornings. But uh, we're in a bit of a rush today because I gotta be up in Arbor right now. They want me there first thing. That means I gotta go there now. Clean the windows later. I can see through them. They're good. We have a 53 foot step deck roll tank behind us today. I'm a little nervous to see how well she opens. These step decks uh, usually give me a little bit more grief opening and closing them than the regular flatbed. But we have a two hour drive north, so we have two hours to worry about it. Hopefully it results in no problems and no issues. If I have issues, the shippers up there are great. They'll help me open and close it. Sometimes, or most time, a lot of the times I should say, uh, I, I have to open the trailer by myself. And if it's nicely like lubricated and working well, that's no problem. The new ones I can open just with the touch of a finger, just pull them along, right? These older step decks especially, sometimes they take a little bit of convincing to get open and closed. Especially when you're by yourself. But that's okay. We make do with what we got. As long as it's safe to operate, it's good to go. Everything gets old and worn out eventually. And eventually they'll get it, uh, they'll get it refurbished. I know they have a trailer or two right now in the city being refurbished, I think. I, I brought them there to be refurbished, so I hope that's what's going on. It's kind of funny because everybody knows the step decks are a headache to get open. So whenever I pick up a load and I meet the highway driver and they hook onto it to leave with it, it's always the same reaction. Oh man! <laughs> uh, well, I'm gonna say it's still better than tarping. I would much rather have a cranky roll tight that takes me forever to get open and closed than tarp alone. Okay, so there's that. I will take these trailers any day over having to tarp stuff.
well it's not a van trailer it still needs to be swept out it's very dirty another one loaded up ready to go this one's going to Oklahoma Tulsa Oklahoma to be exact says down here Be nice to go see Oklahoma. It won't be me though, it'll be another highway driver. I've got another one all ready for him. The step deck wasn't too bad. It wasn't too hard on me today. But that's mostly because we didn't open the top step. <laughs> if I don't have to open the top, I don't open it. It's just a whole nother headache, a whole nother can of worms loading up there. So we avoided that today. Still can't complain. A lot better than tarpon. There's another guy here from another company tarpon the whole thing. No, thank you. I'll take the stubborn roll type any day. Well, a little bit of an unusual day today, uh, but it's four o'clock, about to head home here. And uh, I wanna try out some of this bull snot with you guys today before we go. Uh, here, I got my microfiber cloths here. I wanna see if we can shine up this air cleaner right here. I wanna actually see how well it works. I haven't washed the truck in a while because I haven't had access to one. But uh, I'm thinking of bringing my uh, pressure washer to work this week. And one of the days if I have uh, like this where I'm off a little bit uh, earlier than usual and it's a beautiful sunny day, uh, we can get the truck washed. Let me get all my stuff into the pickup here. All right. Actually, this orange thing needs to go to the front. Hold on, my water bottle. I have a system, a system and ways of doing things and organizing everything so that I don't forget anything. But I forget things anyway, so. Okay, let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Got a little... I got a few products of each here. What's this? This is. Detail cleaner, polishable. That's what we'll be using. What else do I got here? I got, oh, this is another polishable. Uh, tire butter. I'm gonna use this on my pickup the next time I wash the pickup at home. I'm gonna let you know how this stuff works. I'm really excited, actually. Uh, the owner uh, who designed all this and who made all of this stuff uh, went into all the details of how he made this and how long it took him to get the formula just right. So I'm actually excited to try that out because it's a lot of tire shines that you use uh, when you drive on dirt or dust, that dust sticks to the tire and then the tire is even dirtier than before you washed it. You know what I mean? So apparently this doesn't do that. It's going to be interesting to try out. I've been so busy lately. And this is a visible glass cleaner. This is working really well for me. I've been using it on my, uh, my windows inside and out. No streaks, guaranteed. And it doesn't, actually, I tried to leave streaks. I tried. And this is the odor eliminator. This worked well for us at home when the dog had an accident on the couch. All right, so this is the detail cleaner. Let's try and clean this off. Let's see how well this is gonna work. I'm gonna use one of my microfiber cloths here. Let's just grab an orange one, it's nice and clean. It's about to get dirty. <laughs> okay. 
Now, this truck is old and uh, it won't shine like new, but here, let's, let's put some of this on here. Polishable detail cleaner. Foams up on there real good. I've already tried this once on my own and it worked great. Look at that. Just let it dry off a little bit. Take the dry side of the towel. Give it a second wipe over there. You can see me with my funny head cam in there. Eh? <laughs> Nice, nice. Okay, let's do. Everyone who I've talked to who's used this product has said there's nothing better. And I am working together with them. I'm part of the Bullsnot Posse. So you'll see me using this more and more. Look at that shine. Look at that shine. You can see me clearly in there. It's like a mirror. And this is an old truck. Imagine if you had a new truck with brand new chrome on it. Man, that would look nice. That's awesome. Let's get the front done here. The front, that's where all the bugs and real dirt is, eh? You don't have to use too much. I probably used a little bit much there. Went a little heavy on it, but eh, no harm in it. No harm. Look at how it just like melts the bugs right off. You see that? All the bugs that were stuck to that? Melts them right off. Now remember, it's not gonna shine like new because it's an old truck already, but it's gonna be as close to new as you can get. I'm gonna grab my, another one here. I like to keep them separate. I use one as the wet cloth, one as the dry cloth. That's why if they're different colors, you know for sure which one is the dry cloth, right? And then once you wipe this down with your wet cloth, just go over it again with your dry one. Look at that. Look at that. Smile. like a mirror looks great and if you want to see what the other side looks like let's go take a look at that so this is the other side that we haven't washed yet if we go around and see the one that we just used the polishable on that's nice you can use this inside as well. You can use it on pretty much anything. Spray it on there, use your wet rag. It smells good too. we go I'm actually very impressed I mean I didn't expect that old shine to come back like that it did pretty good it did it did what it says it does very impressed with it so I'm gonna use it on my pickup as well like I said I'm actually really looking forward to using that what they call tire butter it's like tire shine you know you spray it on the rubber and it makes it shine every other tire shine I've ever used uh, makes the tires look great until you drive off the pavement onto the gravel and then all the dust just sticks to the rubber and it makes it look worse than ever They claim that this tire butter does not do that Your tires still shine even when driving through a gravel parking lot or after driving through a gravel parking lot We shall see but 
The detail spray sure worked like they said it would. I didn't do the whole truck today because I want to save some for tomorrow. Hoping I'll have a little bit of time tomorrow as well to shine the truck up a little bit more and I want to show you more of that. That's bull snot. You can get it at uh, TAs in the US. It's not available in Canada yet, but it's coming next year. I'll let you know for sure. Uh, you can go onto my Facebook page. I I've shared several posts from them and then they give a list of all the locations where you can find it. You can also find it on Amazon. It's just bull snot. It's a unique name, so you won't forget it. It's polishable, uh, visible, What's the odor eliminator one? Oh, we'll have to go through them later. <laughs> anyway, there's clever names for all of them. I actually talked to the owner of the company as well. He sent me some stuff to try out. And a uh, great guy uh, from down in Georgia. And he put a lot of time and effort into these products. You can tell he really stands behind them. Pay close attention to this Mazda hatchback coming past me. Look at the hood. Surprise, surprise, he just turned into Walmart. What is that, a Mazda protege, right? Is that is that what those Mazdas are? It's the Mazda Longhorn now. 